The sun takes rest just like all biological life does. This rest is called solar hibernation. When the sun hibernates, all of life on Earth experiences a dramatic decrease in temperature. Learning about the sun and when and how to prepare for its rest cycle serves us all. For the sun, politics doesn't exist. Solar activity is impersonal. You are being introduced to the upcoming Grand Solar Minimum. No matter who you are, this upcoming solar cycle will impact your life in a dramatic way. Access to this information is being censored around the world. Receive this communication like your life depends on it because in the future it will. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to It's Rainmaking Time. I'm Kim Greenhouse. For those of you who don't know me, it's a pleasure to produce and host this show about new and ancient knowledge and discovery. And one of the things that I get so excited about in the area of discovery is that through discovery, we can better our own personal lives, the lives of our loved ones and families, of society and the world, this and future generations. Today, we have a guest that, to me, is like a Copernicus in the sense that the information that she is bringing through to the world is so important because just about everything we've heard and a lot of us have read are telling us information about the climate and the state of climate that is incomplete. And it's not only incomplete by being incomplete, It's inaccurate in the sense that we don't know enough about the sun. And I'll tell you why, and then I'm going to bring the guest in, our beloved guest. And that is because we are using two to 300-year-old methods to deduce what's happening with the sun. And because the sun is one of the main drivers of climate that most of us haven't heard about, We are missing critical information that would change the face of our lives and all of humanity. If I ask one thing of all of you that are listening, no matter if you're involved politically in this subject of climate, I ask that you put aside your perspective and allow in new knowledge that is current, not two to 300 years old in terms of modeling. Our guest is Professor and Dr. Valentina Zarkova. She is a heavyweight in the area of applied mathematics, physics, and electrical engineering. She brings some mind-blowing information about the sun, which we need to know about to plan our lives. And I want to talk, just share with you a little bit about her background, which is that she is going to talk to us today about some areas that we're not hearing from the climate scientists, that we're not hearing from climate agencies, that we're not even hearing from a lot of the universities. For those of you, by the way, who have not heard, it's Rainmaking Time special on peer review. You all need to hear that. And the reason is, and the reason you may not have heard of our guest, is because the peer review methodology in academia and also in publishing actually is a barrier to the transfer of new and ancient knowledge and discovery. It is my great pleasure to welcome Professor and Dr. Valentina Zarkova to its Rainmaking Time. Thanks so much for being here. 